Oh, grasses, I hate them. Um, I'm highly allergic to all grasses. Anytime I go outside, I start to sneeze, my eyes start to water and I start to get asthma symptoms. Registered nurse Michelle O'Brien Towers is one of three million Australians who suffer allergic asthma, mainly in spring and summer when the grasses are loaded with pollen. Just a little can set her off. I hate itching and having a rash from eczema from the grass pollen. So actually, if, if there was anything of my symptoms that I could get rid of, eczema would be the first one that I would say. Australia is the fourth worst country for allergic hay fever and asthma. Summer grasses are the major trigger. Over-the-counter drug prescriptions have doubled in the past few years, but they give temporary relief to only one out of three sufferers. Millions of people are allergic to these grasses and we urgently need an effective vaccine. Dr Janet Davies has discovered our two types of summer grasses have different pollen allergens. People can be allergic to just one or both types. Temperate grasses like rye are rife south, but subtropical grasses, which used to be confined north, have now spread like wildfire south, affecting more and more people. What we're trying to do is meet the needs of people who are primarily allergic to those subtropical grasses. So I've now discovered all the allergen components of the Bahia and the Johnson grasses. A treatment for these subtropical grasses is crucial because with climate change, hay fever and asthma sufferers are likely to be in for longer allergen seasons with higher pollen loads spreading through more of Australia. We know vaccines work. Now immune system can tell the difference between a temperate and a subtropical grass. So if you're really allergic to a subtropical grass, you need to be taking a treatment that's going to target the allergens within that grass. Good news, an oral vaccine cure for people allergic to temperate southern grasses has just been approved for sale in Australia. It's apparently the pollen in these grasses that affects me. Michelle Hill is on the new oral vaccine that stops her allergy to temperate grasses. It's changed my life quality. But she still suffers from the subtropical varieties. Really feel a zombie when I got the hay fever, so sometimes I have a lot of sneezing attacks depending on what kind of grass that I come into contact with. The sooner a vaccine is developed for these subtropical grasses, the better. And that's what Dr Janet Davies is doing, developing a treatment targeting subtropical pollen allergies. Not just the symptoms, but the cause. There'll be a major breakthrough in treating people with uh, hay fever who live in subtropical regions of the world. That's not just here in Australia, but it's other parts of the world. What this fantastic innovation needs is funding and support to get the innovation through to the next stages to make it happen. Dr Noel Chambers is CEO of the National Foundation for Medical Research and Innovation, which identifies great medical research projects, then connects them to industry, venture capitalists and philanthropists to enable the products to be developed and available on the market. University of Queensland are leading in this area and we really do need the funding and support to get these allergy vaccines to market to where the people can access it. With that help, a cure for subtropical grass allergies for millions of sufferers worldwide could be on the market within five years. Perfect. I wish it was on the shelves now.